space. The final frontier. Hello guys, it's SkyGate172, posting on the Mega Forty Ones channel, and today I'm doing, uh, well it will sort of be like a review on uh, the Enterprise that I built, and completely from scratch, no, well I did use a picture, and um, the link to it will be in the description, but other than that I completely designed myself, there's no, no instructions, However, for the circle, for the saucer, sorry, just breaks a lot. I'll just take, detach the saucer. Um, for the saucer, I did use the Minecraft circle chart to help me get the right shape. Otherwise, it would have been more like the Enterprise USS Enterprise NCC 1701D. And it's more oval. I am planning to make all of the Enterprise models, except right now I'm just starting with the original. Uh, Captain Cook and Spock pilot. So let's have a look at the source first. Um, and by the way, there won't be any cuts because I'm filming this on my iPad, and to post to YouTube, you can't use any cuts. Anyway, so so I've got a good shape, and a little thing that I did wrong on the bottom is that this isn't sticking out enough. And the little thing that I did wrong on the top is that the clear um, bridge is supposed to be up here, not down there. Something I realised later when I watched some of the series. Anyway, so on the front, I've put flat pieces so that I can... And if if you're thinking, oh, man, he's, he's drawn on his Lego. No, I haven't. I've put sour tape. Sour tape over the brick, the flat pieces. See? See? Where there was writing, there's no longer any more. So when I need to use these pieces for something else, then I can just peel off the cell tape and then it'll be all good. And I ran out of grey pieces so I had to use white and dark grey. But I think it still looks alright because the Enterprise is exactly one colour. And another thing that I did notice is that I put the phases and torpedoes in the wrong place. Um, yeah. Because the phases are supposed to come out of the, um, this thingy. The cell thingy. Anyway. And I think the torpedoes come out of there too. If I'm wrong, please, um, post in the comments what it actually is. Because that would be nice. Okay, moving on to... Uh, I can't remember. I think it's called the cell or something. If, if I'm wrong, just say what it actually is in the comments if you know. If you know. If you don't know, then don't do anything. Except like. <laughs> anyway, so... I noticed that there was a light in the middle. I think. Anyway, and the shape. This is also the part that goes up to the saucer. Um, so... I think I did pretty well. Just that. And thinking about that, I had to build this from scratch. With no instructions at all. And um, also the side pieces are studs. And I use these special connector bricks that look like this. So they're like L shaped with studs on top and studs on the sides. And then I just put this piece on it. Sorry about this. And then I just connected it on so it looks like that. And it's a bit thicker because it doesn't look like this. Now, does it? No, I didn't think so. So I said I decided to add some extra width. And now to the engines. There's three main parts to this. And, um,. To the whole thing, not just to the engines. I should have said. Uh, I'll just take one engine at a time. So let's do the engine, and then we'll do the frame. Okay, so this is the engine. I saw. I wanted to use red, um, red, uh, like hemisphere pieces, but I don't have any red hemisphere pieces, so I used a circular brick, four by uh, two by two brick. For the lights on the sides. 
I'm not sure if they're actually there, but on on the picture that I was from, that I looked at, there was. And you'll notice that this piece here is not entirely connected because there's a, there's a flat, uh, flat piece there. How did I do that? Uh, this is how I did it. I put a one stud piece in the middle and then put a flat behind it. And then, like, you see how there's holes in the bottom? I connected this this stud to one of those holes and that got what I wanted so it looks like this uh, yes and now let's move on to the frame okay this is the frame and it's not quite thin enough but if it was any thinner it would just snap so um, yeah it's sort of some problems with Lego and how I built it but yeah. Anyway, that's the that's the best I could do. And yes. So now I'm just connecting it all together. So I'll show you what it looks like with all the pieces together for the engines. So that's what it looks the engines look like. And one thing to note is that engines get skinnier near the back. So yeah. Okay, there we go, and then I'll just connect it to the cell. And for the cell, for connecting it, there's two... Okay, first I'll show you <laughs> some other stuff. Okay, so the problem with this is that it was an odd number circle. See, it has five studs going like this. So the problem was, if I was going to get anything in the middle, it would have to be three stud or two stud, and three stud was too wide, and one stud was too thin, so I decided to use these one stud bricks again, and put it in the middle with two studs, so now it looks perfect to me, so that's how the saucer and the cell connects, now the engines have the same principle, because if, if they were, you see these, the base brick is three apart, uh, three long, three studs wide. And if it was two, then these two two things coming off the the connector beams for the for the engines, they would be too close together. So I decided to make it three and using these one stud pieces I could make it exactly in the middle again. So let's put that there. And the good thing about the engines is that right now the saucer is weighing the air, uh, the spacecraft down at the front, but with the engines, it's perfectly balanced. It might be a little bit heavy at the front, but it is balanced nonetheless. So, this is the USS Enterprise NCC-1701, and I built this all from scratch. If you want to see the pictures that I used, the links are in the description, and yes, so... Thank you guys for watching my review on my own um, Enterprise and tune in for more Enterprise um, model reviews if you're interested. Thank you for watching. Subscribe, rate, comment. Goodbye. Thanks for watching.